And off we go. Six and two with an ERA of just over two. Bit of a quick pitch there, and that hit him. They get another guy on base here, but will be important for Duke to cut down on the mistakes this afternoon as Wright goes to the opposite field and hits it out. Two nothing Tigers in the first. Well, we know that Wright has power to all fields, and he put it on display there going the opposite way. His home run on Friday was straight away center field. And Clemson couldn't ask for a better start here in the first inning. Scoring in the first inning for the third consecutive day. Just a hanger there for noon, and Wright did not miss it. Oh, right back where it came from. As I said, let your defense work for you or protect your body at all cost. A little bit different than what Clemson has seen. And there he gets one elevated and had some success. And he gets strikeout number one this afternoon. Heavy dose of fastball. Able to locate all three pitches for strikes. He faces Miller here, and he lifts the ball out toward left center field. Hit fairly well. This ball into the gap, and this ball is gone. A home run for Ben Miller. Miller with his eighth of the year. See the pitch, pitch location there just up in the zone and Miller was certainly paying attention in his time here in Durham. Uh, stolen down on strikes. Second strike out of the inning for the freshman right-hander. 0-2 on Bravo. That ends the inning. Absolutely, every at-bat that goes up and in, and he did not go, and they say it hit him. Ball four. So another hit batsman. Not going, ball uh, hit him. Clemson playing for a big inning here. Two on, nobody out at noon to second base. Not in time as Bassetta dives back. Opportunity for Clemson with runners in scoring position today. The 2-2 two -two on the outside corner for strike three. And a swing and a miss, back to the off speed. Higgins with a pair of punch outs. Canock home on 0-2, and that ends the inning. The fourth strikeout already for the Clemson right-hander. Off to a good start here in the third. Alden Mathis digging in now. He lined the ball back to the pitcher, and Mathis thinking he was hit by the pitch. Strike three, Higgins back to the off speed. His third strikeout of the outing. Like he does, makes that fastball maybe play a little bit up. There's a base hit to the right side. A seeing eye single for Morris and Duke with the tying run aboard with two out. Runner goes, pitches bloop to the right side and down a base hit. Runners at the corners for Duke with two out. Runners at the corners, two down and Kanak to the plate. A bouncing ball toward third in between hop for right, throws him out and ends the inning. Payoff pitch from the Duke right-hander. Ball four. It's the first walk issued by Duke pitching, but that was emailed to me yesterday after the game. It was very kind. Of it was. This one to right field. Grassi attested again. He makes the gliding catch. Run as the first pitch socked down the left field line. Extra bases for Logan Bravo. He's into second base as the ball misplayed and left by Taylor and the Blue Devils with the tying run in scoring position. Recorded, then you've got an appeal play as Obi strikes out. That one kicks away from the catcher. The runner up 90 feet. The 2 0 pitch on Winslow. That one also gets away from the catcher, and the game is tied. And you can see Obertop pound his mitt as that ball lined up the middle and caught. Purify flashing the leather for the Tigers. Check the swing, did not go. Second walk allowed by Higgins, and a one-out base runner for the Tigers. Now way ahead is Higgins, the ball in two strikes. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw to second base, is dropped by Morris. To the second baseman, Morris up with it, and 
A clean inning again for Higgins, who pitches around the one-out walk. Here's the one-strike pitch on the Duke DH. Grounded up the middle and through. A sharp single to center. And Duke, the leadoff base runner for the second straight frame. Pitch right there with two strikes. And comes back with a fastball to get him. Tied him up on the inside corner. Six strikeouts for the freshman right-hander. To third, and under the glove of right. U turns second, but hangs on there. Two on with one out for Duke. Canock trying to wiggle off the hook in the fifth. A slow roller to short. Shufo transfers and throws him out. The payoff pitch from Higgins. And that's the first time the Tigers have had the leadoff man on since the second inning. Yes, I love an aggressive approach. Runner not going, 3-2 is ball four. Back-to-back -back walks have opened the sixth inning for the Tigers. Get the leave runner at third base. 1-2. Away from Stone, just as good as a sacrifice, if not a little better. 2-2. Two -two. Got him. Back to the breaking ball for strike three. To center field, OB charging, makes the catch. Runner tags it third. The throw is cut off, and Clemson has the lead. The Blue Devils might appeal here to see if the runner left early. He did not. Oh, what a catch by Clark. Climbing the ladder and robbing Shufo of an RBI hit. Duke with six hits, but only two runs. The lack of free bases has been paramount, and there's a want to just get after the batter as quickly as possible. Obi bloops the base hit to left. Winslow trying to put it in play. To the right side, a base hit. Obi will stop at second. Of course he will. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of two out hits. Got him to end the inning. Now the payoff pitch. That's on the inside corner for strike three. A pair of punch outs for Brooks in the seventh. Nick Clayton up in the bullpen and a swing and a miss. And the longest outing of the career, the young career, Aiden Canuck. Out to right center field. Mathis on the move, won't get it, it's off the wall. Morris to second and the tying run in scoring position. His third hit today. Got him to win the inning. 0-2 to the right side, a base hit. The first Clemson hit since the first inning and an insurance runner aboard to start the eighth. For the Tigers. Out to left field and hit well. Winslow on the move, he won't get it. Down for a hit and over the wall for a double. Pendelider with his second hit this weekend. And Clemson leads 4-2 in the eighth. But after throwing almost 60 pitches Friday night, Bielensen down yesterday and gets maybe taken down there. It's into left field. And Clemson adds to the lead. Throw comes to second. He's safe. And the Tigers now lead 5-2. Against the Duke right-hander. There is a strikeout and a good fastball. And the side retired in the eighth. Duke has left seven on today, as has Clemson. And Bravo loops one to left for a base hit. Good start to the eighth. Out to right field and hit well. Mathis will watch it go. blowing out, but I don't know that Gracia needed a whole lot of help here. You see the hanging off speed pitch right in the heart of the plate. Also struck out Winslow, who's on deck, and OB lines a base hit to left field. The tying run is aboard for Duke in the eighth. Grounded right side, a base hit. OB turns second and will hang on there. Two men on, nobody out. 
So Krusen off the bench with a pinch hit single. Rodgers, by the way, does not have a sacrifice bunt on the season, but he might right here. Only play is to first, and Duke executes the sacrifice. 0-2 pitch on Wallace Clark. Out to left field. Taylor giving chase. Taylor makes the catch. Obi tagging at third, and the game is tied. Out to center field. Racing back on it and making the catch. Shy of the wall. Got him. A perfect inning for Bielenson. And the Blue Devils with a chance to win the series. Since Winslow and you were both in the lineup and removed, Stone to the right side and threw a base hit. Guess we'll find out. I guess we will. Down the right field line and fair into the corner. Stone on his way around second, digging for third. They're gonna send him. Here's the relay throw. He's out. And free baseball in Durham. Duke will challenge. I think the throw is there in plenty of time, obviously. Maybe more than enough time to allow for the blocking of the plate. I think he had the ball, and then he moves over. And it's just a good baseball play. Here come the umpires. It's going to be a quick one, though. Probably tells you that the call is going to stand. It is. And free baseball. Out to right field and hit well. Gracia will watch it go. The Tigers take the lead in the 10th. The second of the weekend for Jimmy Obertop. And it's Clemson who seesaws ahead. Big time plate appearance here. Fastball right down the middle. Bielenson knew it. Based on the contact plus the wind. Two balls and two strikes. To the left side. Diving stop by Clark. And not nearly in time. With the Tigers up a run in the 10th. Down the right field line, hit well again, and this one's gone! See another fastball over the middle of the plate in the opposite field power. Sailing it over the 335 mark down the right field line. Bielenson out now, Emus in, and that one hit him. Out to center field and hit well. Obi to the warning track. He has room, and the inning is over. As Obi down on strikes, and the tag is applied. There's the first out of the tenth. ACC history have saves between the two of them. Uh, probably not many. That ball eats up Purify and Albright aboard. Two and two on Knight. Up the middle and through a base hit for Chad Knight. Albright around second, digging for third, and they're at the corners with one out. One and two on Clark. To right field, charging in Mathis. He makes a diving catch. Scoring from third is Albright. He showed up on Sports Center last night. He needs to be there again. Great catch. Now Morris, the last Blue Devil hope. He rolls one to third, right up with it, and Clemson claims the series in Durham.